Hello and welcome to this edition of the Angels of Destiny show. Why is this show called this, you may ask? So I'll tell you, the accepted meaning of destiny is to make firm established and the accepted meaning of angels is messenger. So um, we bring you messages to establish what you need to know in the present. And of course, I like working with angels and the calmness they bring. Now, in a moment, I will introduce you to my wonderful guest, Paulina Bobelio. I'm sure she'll correct me if I've said that wrong. But before that, I'd like to say thank you so much for watching the show live at a later date, as it means a lot to me to connect with like-minded women. Now, if you've never met before, then my name is Ray, and I love to help women to crossroads in their life, heal their paths, create their future, and transform the present, so they can take charge of their destiny in the here and now with finding their life purpose. And I'm the founder of Radiant Angel Energy, and I use future life progression, past life regression, angelic Reiki, guided meditation, angel oracle cards, and hypnosis to help women who feel lost get clear on their reason for being here. And I've also created a transformational journey to help you take charge of your destiny and a journey through lifetimes. Now, each episode of the show will cover various themes of your journey, from any guided meditation or angel oracle card reading with the wisdom of my wonderful guests, like today's guest, Paulina Bobelio, about the magical journey you can take into discovering your psychic powers. Now, Paulina is an intuitive healer, energy coach, spiritual teacher, and mindful leader whose natural curiosity and search for truth has got her into many places in her life where she doesn't take anything at face value and always tries to understand the hidden truths. Now, Paulina supports women by activating their childlike energy and joy through unlocking their higher self, and in doing so, they can expand their lives and see who they really are at the edge of their comfort zone. Now, Paulina left Poland when she was 18 and spent half of her life away from her country and parents, which forced her to build the stamina to become resilient and stand up for herself. With testimonials such as Paulina is one of the most gifted psychics I've ever met, truly devoted to what she does. Not only does she clarify the difficult parts, but she also gives you guidance, lighting the soul's light and showing you the right path, 10 stars. And Paulina did a session with me over a video. Um, she did this because I needed some energetic, energetic boost and guidance. Paulina is generous with sharing her knowledge and she's ready to empower you. And the angels are playing, having fun with us today. So any um, words or anything, it's just the angels playing with us. So without further delay, hello, Paulina, and welcome to the Angels and Destiny show. How are you today? Hello, Ray. Thank you for having me. Yes, we are having an ima magical experience. And thank you for such a beautiful introduction. I was listening to this and I was thinking, oh my gosh, is this me? <laughs> oh, like I'm not good enough. So I have so many certifications, so many diplomas. I have masters in e-commerce and innovation. And it was always that feeling that I'm not good enough. And when you were reading what I sent you, which I created, I was like, wow. I want to meet that woman. I want to meet that woman. <laughs> so just to say that, you know, we all have that special gift and we just have to discover through experimentation, through allowing ourselves to enjoy the journey. And it might take some people five years. Some people might take the whole lifetime, you know, or exactly. some people might, you know, might die and not know what they did. Like they don't know what they don't know. Right. Exactly. So before we get into this fascinating conversation, I want to remind you that you can not only share this show, um, but you can also ask questions, leave comments and thoughts as both Paulina and I want you to be part of this conversation. So please do not be shy. So Paulina, why don't you tell us about your journey and about the magical journey we can take in discovering our psychic powers? Uh, so my journey is, I think it's interesting because I, uh, it took well, it me, sounds like, interesting. it took me a long time to be where I am and standing in my power, even though sometimes I'm scared of myself and I start shaking. It's like, oh my gosh, is this for real? Uh, so my, my journey started actually when I was 16, when I had this experience of darkness and black hole, this land in between this this kind of void and i had been having those nightmares and i couldn't sleep and i was thinking oh my gosh i have to 
start looking for answers because my church was not giving me answers. My family was not giving me answers. My environment as you know, being brought in Poland, we didn't have that much. So I started seeking deeper and this was the early time when we started using computers and the internet. I remember so the first time I set up my email with Yahoo and I started looking into, you know, spiritual Sanskrits and spiritual texts, even reading Bible. And that was my first time when I started. So my journey goes back in time when I was 16. And then slowly I discovered that there was more to life and I became more curious. I realized that I don't want to live with my parents. I'm coming from a kind of like a mid, mid-sized city, but I felt it was very, I would say, I would say, that word it was very narrow-minded and that you know like i always wanted to see the world and i was a seeker from an early age i was always asking my mom uncomfortable questions i remember when my mom i was would get annoyed with me because i was like why is this why is that what is this and my mom said can you shut up i i'm tired like i have no answer for you so i was always a very curious child i was always seeking seeking and seeking and when i decided after graduating the high school that i want to leave i went to a different city in poland to study english and then i was able to transfer to england and i spent a few years in england studying and deepening my knowledge being very curious about spiritual aspect and and understanding different concepts and and meeting new people and and really relating to different things and i felt like you know england was even though i'm from poland there was some part of england that really felt good like it felt like i feel like i was here before yeah and you know i i I first moved to bradford which was not the best experience but then i went to leeds and that was wonderful and then i did my master's at lancaster university so I felt like the Lancashire was really cool. And unfortunately, I didn't get a chance to go to Glasgow, but I was always drawn to Scotland. And I know I have to go there because I've been having those dreams about <laughs> castle, about, oh, I, I'm getting chills right now. I'm saying this, it's just something magical there. And and uh, so that was my journey in England. And then once I you know finished the school and I stayed a few, I think year and a half in Manchester, I decided to come to US where I currently reside and uh, I've been in New York City since 2010 so 11 years and I live a little bit in California but majority of my time was spent in New York City and in this apartment in Manhattan where I currently reside so this is my quarters then with all my decks with all my books it's like a library when people come <laughs> to this place it's like I'm a doctor in the in the neighborhood it's like what is my problem and I tell them Oh, what kind of emotion are you experiencing? And I'll pull my ball because, like, oh, that means anxiety. Oh, that means anger. Oh, we have to clear that. Oh, we have to do that. So, because I was such a curious child and I wanted to find the answers, I started going deeper into that. And and now I can be that guide, that that person who can uh, help others uh, through my own experience. And my experience was not easy because I was here by myself. I didn't have a support. My dad always wanted me to run a company back in Poland. And I kind of said, no, I'm following my path. So he kind of rejected me from the family. And I was here by myself with only one friend for many years, you know, struggling financially, struggling um, emotionally, not having support system and just being in that space of, you know, sometimes not in the best. Like I went through the depression and other different things. But there was still a light inside of me, even though I went through the depression and this darkness, this dark night of the soul that's happened in 2018. I was able without pills and without heavy medication, heal myself. And why I'm saying this because I want to inspire others that you have that power inside of you now that can heal you. And my solution was this deck, which is Osho Zen Tarot. Yeah. And it's a transcendental game of life. And when I was depressed for a few months, I would every day, I don't know why I would every, every day I would pull a few cards and I would stare at the card and I was look, I would start to seek what is there, like what, what is really life. And I started creating this therapy session for myself, apart from seeing other people and feeling that they're not going to help me. I started believing slowly that 
I can help myself and started reading different books about depression, about emotions, about hormones. And obviously this was my, my first step, like tapping into myself and, and, and really going deeper into the cards, looking at the symbols, looking at the signs. And uh, that opened something new. And I started discovering cards and go deeper, deeper and deeper and taking courses and, you know, having master classes and advanced programs, how to read tarot and how to communicate with your higher self. So that's basically my story in a nutshell. So I, I know it's a long story, but. No, that's, 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 that's amazing. And that was a lot of courage to sort of like um, leave, leave, you know, leave home at school. Uh, young age and actually at that age know that you wanted more because a lot of young people they they don't um then they're not quite sure about what they they want to do but you sound like you kind of like no I, I want to go and explore and do and do other stuff yes and I was very confused for a long time because I was so hungry for knowledge and I belonged to so many schools and I, I, I studied so many programs that I was very confused for a long time. And then one of my teachers said to me, Pauline, I have to choose. I was like, no, I want to know more. I want to know everything. So I had to kind of now becoming you know, older and more aware. I feel this is my experience to learn a lot of different modalities so I can help more people because I have knowledge in, you know, ancient traditions. For example, I study Kundalini yoga and I studied, uh, you know, I, was, I belonged to Buddhist school for many, many years, uh, Karma Kaju. Uh, Diamond Way Buddhism, right? That opened me up to a higher frequency and dimensions. I also I have yoga teacher training, bhakti. So I have a lot of different modalities. Oh, NLP, hypnotherapy, angels, and it's like, whoa! Like I sometimes would get scared because those are com sometimes the very completely opposite modalities. And if you don't know what you're doing, you can get really confused. But luckily enough, I was protected and I was because of my inner inner child like mentality. I, I was I was so naive that it was even it was I think it was kind of crazy. But at the same time, it worked out for me, if that makes sense. Yeah. 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 No, that that make that makes that makes absolute sense. And quite often what we think doesn't work together actually does work together, even though they seem opposites. They can actually um, work, work together, which. We, which is, I think is absolutely, absolutely brilliant because it doesn't really matter what you're studying or learning, you know, you can take aspects of many different things and put them, put them into this melting pot and just create um, something mag magical out of it. Yes, and, and I really feel like when you follow this inner child curiosity, because that's who I was, I was this little girl trapped in an in, in aging body. <laughs> I really bring this light into every conversation because um, I feel life is so short and I see there are so many miserable people and they choose to be that way. And I understand this. However, if you really tap into yourself, if you start listening to your intuition, if you start listening to yourself, you will be able to discover something more. And that's going to lead me to my discovery of the book, if, if I can share now, unless you have other questions. Yeah, no, 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 go ahead. So for me, 2020 was a pivotal year because uh, I went through depression 18 and then I was recuperating and trying to just get back into myself. And COVID happened. I was I, I was hoping, you know, to, to gain some momentum at the beginning of 2020 and then COVID happened. And I was forced to look within. I was forced really to sit down because I had many, many jobs, like side gigs, random projects, because I never fully trusted myself that this inner curiosity, this inner playfulness can be sustainable or can create a solid business, right? So in 2020, when COVID started, I started thinking, okay, I cannot do what I used to do because I used to do events. I used to host events. I used to run retreats and a lot of different things. Nothing was happening, right? So how can I, you know, create opportunity for myself? And whenever I would go and look for a job, I would get this anxiety that I don't belong here. None of the jobs will fit me. I was like, oh my God, this is, there's no job for me. I cannot do this. I cannot do this. And I'll have such a, oh my gosh, terrible anxiety that I'll have to calm myself down by drinking a glass of wine. 
<laughs> You're not the first person that's done that. <laughs> and it's like, I need to calm myself down. Okay, okay, okay. And then get myself together, right? So I was looking for a job. Nothing was happening. I was very lucky because I was able to get some unemployment uh, because of the COVID. So I got the unemployment and unemployment made me feel more assured of the universe that's supporting me. So I got the base, which was enough to pay for basic, you know, things for my apartment and then utilities. And this was a sign from the universe. Like, you go, girl. You do you. You are protected. You don't have to waste your time and energy on random things. You can focus on your sole purpose and your mission, which is to share the knowledge and share this curiosity with others, right? Mm. So I started doing more. I went to, um, I discovered a beautiful teacher from Australia, Sal Jade. She's my uh, amazing inspiration. And the whole journey started with her when I signed up for advanced tarot course. And I met my kind of like psychic friends. I belonged to, but I started belonging to a psychic group. And this all opened up for me, like this door of opportunities. And I found my weird crowd. I found the people who didn't belong. And we call ourselves, you know, angel on earth. And we're like, oh my gosh, she's so weird like I am. And we will like start sharing some crazy moments or synchronicities or like some events. And it's like, wow, it's so amazing to find your tribe. It's so yeah. amazing to have people who understand you and they get you and they don't think you're crazy. Yeah. And, and that was that was like a, the whole epiphany. And I was coached then the first few months uh, by an amazing coach, Lilith, where she really tapped into my psychic abilities. She showed me what I had inside of me but i wasn't trusting she programmed me for success and everything so that was you know throughout 2020 and closer i mean i think it was in march that i was telling you the story i was i think it was like three weeks ago um in the mean, mean sorry in the meantime i got a job at a metaphysical store which was for my highest good and in my alignment so this job allowed me to really uh you know hone in on to like how to do readings how to be more efficient and start making money at doing readings and energy work right so this store has, has been amazing i love it and three weeks ago i was walking to my store to do a reading and i realized i forgot a wallet and I was like, okay, I don't like to have not have a wallet because uh, I like to be in control. If I want to buy something, I really want to have money. So I went to a store, had a reading, and no one gave me a tip because normally they pay through a service and, and the system. So very often they don't give me tips because there's yeah. not cash. So I was sitting at, at my desk and I was thinking, okay, I'm going to go back to this to the shelf when I had my book that was that was meant for me to you know read again. I couldn't find the book. And I was browsing the the, the, the the you know the shelves, and then I found this book, and this book called my attention mm -hmm. because the name of the book is Essential Guide to Your Psychic Powers, and I had this instant connection with the book not only because of the you know the the cover, yeah. but also I opened the book, and I felt like I found my soulmate. It was like, oh my god, oh my god, this is everything I've been learning or I've been wanting to like learn or have some kind of like a deeper understanding in the one book. And it's like, this is crazy. Like someone put the book that it's representation of my experience and my journey within the last you know years and especially the last few weeks. So I got so excited. I was thinking, okay, I don't have the money. So I went back to my office chair. I mean, I went back to my office. And then within 10 minutes, my client is texting me. Hey, Paulina, are you doing a reading? I want to come by. I said, yes, I'm actually open. No one's here. He came back. He had, we had an amazing reading. He gave me 20 bucks as a tip. And I was able to buy the book. Wow. It was just a manifestation of a pure form of like, if you put your mind into that, if you put yourself into that, you know, state of of knowing this is the truth this is this is your calling this is the purpose i'm going to create a course with this book and i had this you know idea of of impacting so many people with that knowledge that the universe rewarded me within 10 minutes of a client with the tip that i was you know able to buy the book and it goes even deeper because this book not only is my manifestation of, of my you know future course but also I was going through the book, I realized that, especially here, I'm gonna share this, this is a very interesting story. So I was raised by a lot of women. I was raised by my mom, my aunt, and my grandmother. So I was raised by my aunt who died in 2007, majority of the time in the early age. 
And then this is the lady here who Don't looks like my who looks like my dad aunt and it's so crazy on this picture because they look different when i looked at this yeah. but on this picture she looks like my aunt and i was like whoa this is crazy and the the lady here it's from poland and she was a very well known um, like medium and she was uh yeah she had very sorry she had very powerful telekinesis skills yeah and she was very famous for that so just to prove the point how powerful your mind is and when you tap into that ability to see beyond the illusion and me manifesting this book me understanding that there is a message with those two women inside of the book because they recalled someone from my past or they showed me that i can tap in my psychic powers and i can be one of those women who were very famous at that time yeah Oh, Dor they, Dor Doris Stokes was well known in this was in in this country. She she was one of the most famous uh, mediums. So it's it's like wow, you it's it, you have it inside of you. And then I showed this picture to my mom, and my mom looked like she saw a ghost, and my sister too. And then I my mom said to me, you know, I was always kind of psychic. I had this premonition. I had those dreams, but I was so scared. I I shut it down. And my mom went to some kind of like a mental breakdown because she didn't use her skill. Like mm -hmm. she didn't use her talent. And that's why I feel like I'm this first generational, you know, uh, woman in my, in my family, in my lineage to really stand in the power to show people that they have so many gifts and they should explore and go on that journey of self-discovery because it's such a beautiful journey. Maybe you will be the one who's going to discover your book after this, you know, watching me inspiring you to take that action or calling, you know, divine master plan to help you tap into that yeah yes that's absolutely you know that is absolutely amazing you know and i love the way synchronicities work um and and you and you know and, and that's what i always say to people you know be open to what's going on around you even the smallest thing might lead on to something else it, it is a case of just being aware um of, of the energy around you and you know if, if you're if you're thinking about something look and, and see what signs you're being given because there's all, always always signs being given we just don't notice them half the time yes it's it's like i feel because i teach uh, six levels of healing and it starts with the first level is awareness then the second level is really what is the truth here am i am i resisting it or there's really something going on? like really looking for the truth then the third level is forgiveness, forgiving yourself and others. So you make that space in your heart and then you get inspired action. You start writing things down and then that's four. Number five is uh, a line action. So you get inspired to take that action forward. And then six, you celebrate, right? It's like the law of ma manifestation. Like you have to ask, you believe and you receive. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, be absolutely beautiful. Um, you know, and, and you and you and you are, and you're obviously, you know, things are all is all, you know, everything is just working uh, beautifully for you. Um, you know, at the, at the moment, um, you say in the um, uh, so I take it, um, obviously you've just spoken that you showed a picture, mum. So I take it your family has kind of like forgiven you for kind of like leaving. Yes, it's a work in progress. I've been doing a lot of healing around that and I'm flying home to Poland next month. So I'm preparing myself um, to heal more. <laughs> it's a never ending journey. And I feel like your parents trigger you the most or your siblings trigger you the most because they know you the most. Yeah. And, you know, we, we're coming from the same uh, kind of system, right? When we're born, we're born into the system of the mother, father and siblings, right? It can be you on your own or you have siblings but it, it's like you in this system for so long that when you are growing up you're going on your own you kind of still replicating the system like yeah. people are attracting a father quality in his you know in a boyfriend or a mother quality in, in a friend or a sister in, in in you know in in co-worker right so it's like we all in the system and the system is kind of like our hub and it goes with us towards the end unless we heal the issue yeah 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 and 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 it is doing the healing and you know you know and and you've kind of like in a way you've you've kind of like healed 
your female lineage as well, your your female ancestors, because you know, you, you said your mum had those beliefs shut them down. The chances are her mum did and other members and they've and they and they just shut them down, never never used them. So you've now broken that barrier which will allow not just you, but anyone else connected to you to actually start using, if they so choose to, um, their gifts, because it's kind of like a little ripple effect. As soon as your energy changes and you start making changes, it affects other people around you. And then they start making little changes. And when they make little changes, somebody else makes changes. And it's just so amazing how it just, it just, it just grows. It's so beautiful. Yes. And thank you for saying that because I feel a lot of people, they think, oh, it's only me. What kind of impact can I have? It's even with like, you know, tomorrow we have Earth, Earth Day, 22nd. And it's um, when you really tap into that energy of Mother Earth, when you really connect to that beautiful energy of unconditional love and you want to cherish our environment and save the environment every little thing helps it's like when you were talking about the rippling effect like if you pick one bottle it'll make a difference but people most of the time think oh what what does th this doesn't change anything if i take that bottle if i don't nothing's gonna change no it starts with a small action it starts with a small thing if you're trying to heal yourself or if you're trying to heal the planet if you're trying to do something little step it's 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 enough you know yeah it, it absolutely is yeah just just you know just little sips you know and, and Gaia you know she you know she she just wants the little things you know not throwing your litter on the ground that that's a, that's a, that's a small step um you, you know so it, so it doesn't need to be great big um big things but but small things which again lead to um bigger things that that that, that are actually go actually going along and that so you you think you're so you're you're going to be creating um a program for for people yes so i'm offering a six week transformational program and this is this is going to be level two so the first level is the healing program and uh, it's healing your mind body and soul first to get you uh, aligned and once you complete the six week program you go on to level two which is a psychic program and we tap into your psychic powers and we see if you're clairvoyant or clairescent and you know how do you tap into your intuition but we have to remove the conditioning and the blockages that are obstructing you so you're not allowed able to see fully right the third yeah. eye or connecting to the divine yeah really um really good idea um to do that so so did you when you were younger did you know you were intuitive and um maybe that's why you were getting those bad dreams and stuff because you you weren't tapping into what was already innately there for you so i feel because my mom was uh scared and then she kind of shut her you know psychic abilities down i i never uh, I, I was never thought like i never thought about this because i i was always in that i had this belief that i'm different and i felt like i don't belong here i felt like a lone wolf even though i was striving for connection and community those people were not my vibes like it i always felt like i was not entirely understood yeah yeah um, and, and yeah, and you, you've kind of like come out of that now and you kind of like understood um, a, about about what you were doing and, and where you're going, um, you know. And I like the fact, you know, you, you, you said, you know, you're always a question, you know, that, that's exactly like me, so always questioning, so curious about, um, you, you, you know, various things. Yeah, and I was always that kid that going, why? Why? What? But I want to know. <laughs> That's exactly the same. And my mom was, I was driving her crazy because she didn't know the answers. And I'm thinking now when I would be a mother, if the kid is asking me all the time when you're tired and you are busy with doing things, like sometimes you, you don't want to think. Sometimes you just want to do. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It, it's like, it's not deliberate. It's just, I've got so much other stuff that I'm trying to sort out here. Let me get on with doing this. Yes. Yeah. 
and and that so so it sounds like you're also all, always buying things and i we we did sort of like earlier you've actually got um uh some are they kosher bell koshi bells or yes some? so this is my it actually arrived just before we we you know like today it's a koshi chime uh, it's designed in France and they have uh, four types. They have connection to Mother Earth, they have uh, water, which is this one, they have air, and they have ignis, which is fire. So they have like four types yeah. and bring you back to different elements. And I chose water because water is emotion. And my cancer, which is, sorry, my moon is in cancer. And yeah. Can connected very into the moon aspect and I work with moon energy and I have circles and I I do you know ceremonies and rituals and I felt for me uh, this is very soothing and I would like to give this opportunity for whoever is watching now or later to really chime in to this beautiful sound of water to calm your nervous system to relax and to really surrender to this beautiful music and this beautiful creation. Go ahead. So maybe I should start first with taking a breath in through the nose. Mm -hmm. And now through the nose. And you can close your eyes or keep them open. And I just want you to really go back into your body. And just relax, relax your head. Relax your shoulders, relax your chest, relax your belly, relax your thighs, your calves, and your feet. And I want you to focus on your feet for a few moments to drop your attention, maybe feel the earth under your feet or maybe you're wearing shoes and you can feel the texture and just feel your energy being grounded and being centered and just connect to that energy and I want you to imagine that you have roots coming out of your feet and those roots are going deeper into the core of Mother Earth and I want you to feel that those roots are going deeper and deeper and deeper until you reach the golden light the golden sphere of Mother Earth. This is unconditional love of Gaia. This is a beautiful energy of motherly love. And I want you to imagine this golden light at the core of Mother Earth. And I want you to slowly start pulling that energy up towards your feet, going through the ground, the soil, up towards your feet. And just feel how this energy is going up it's going up higher towards your legs, higher towards your thighs, higher towards your belly, moving any stuck energies from your hips and your belly, and then up higher towards your heart, opening your heart to receive and to give, and then higher towards your throat, opening that, higher towards your third eye, opening that, and then higher towards the top of your head the crown chakra and connecting to the soul star and being wrapped in this beautiful golden light that's making you feel safe making you feel at ease making you feel at peace and now i'm going to play my chime so just relax into that space
Slowly you can come back into the space and settle in your heart and your body. And then bring your awareness and focus back to the present moment. That was beautiful. Thank you so much. It was lovely just drifting and floating and oh, I, 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 I like that. You know, please do let us know in the, in the comments how you, how you found that. Um, yeah, I'm, I mean, I, I, lo I, love, I love the Koshi chimes. Um, they're, they're just so beautiful, especially when you're in meditation and someone's just um just moving or you've got wind blowing through and they're just kind of they're so absolutely beautiful and of course i'm going to ask you to do a bit more work as well yeah. <laughs> um, so i think why don't you pull a card Let, let's see what let's let's see what your cards want to tell us so i um i'm going to use my angel deck it's mm -hmm. an angel of romans the ring there ah it's lovely friend but i still love it and it's it's one of my favorite decks when I do love readings, and I do have a lot of uh, women who are coming for the love reading. And when you look at their relationship, I always say, you know what what intimacy means, and they say, yeah, I kind of know. But when you look at the word, it means into me see. So it the person who you're with is really a reflection of you. So if you don't like something about that person, that means that you don't like yourself. As, as harsh as it, as it is, that's the truth. So I'm going to pull one card for the collective. What, yeah, lovely. Our, what do we need to know in the love department for the collective? Okay. Ooh. It's time to disconnect from the world. Retreat. Uh -huh. So I feel like we've been uh, constantly on the phone or Zoom or, you know, uh, meetings through phone which is amazing i love it but it's really important to take a step back and recharge and disconnect from technology and disconnect from all the electronic devices you know and spend some quality time in nature so the retreat when someone is uh, watching and they're in a relationship that means that you should uh, book a time with your loved one and and go away and create that bonding experience to go deeper and, and feel that energy around you of, of in, going into me see right like going in, into yeah. in, into that intimacy but if you're single this is a time to really go into the journey of the soul journey connecting to your heart and seeing what's really going on this is the hermit card you know to tapping into your own self you have all the resources you have all the knowledge you have the power you got the magic you are the magic Oh, brilliant. That's absolute. That's absolutely perfect. And as you've, if you've um, done a card for everyone watching, I'm going to do a card for you and everyone watching. So, <laughs> so you see, so you can actually have a card as well. I so I just give the cards a quick cleanse and a bless. And obviously when I do the cards as, um, as you, it's for the present, um, what we need to know in the present, because even though I work with the past, I work with the past to heal the past so that we can be fully present when I work with the future. It's so that we're not worried about the future and we can be uh, fully present. So what does Paulina and everyone who's watching this need to know for their high script at this moment in time? What does Paulina and everyone who's watching this need to know for their highest in time? Oh, okay. I love the flyaway cards. There was a bit better. I, I just I just love them. Um, um, I, I always seem to get flyaway cards these, these days. It's like, really? Okay, so, which is absolutely perfect with what you've been saying. First light, beginning a new cycle. Oh, I'm getting chills like crazy. <laughs> oh, that's, that's, that is, I am really feeling that I am ending April with all this darkness, <laughs> stepping into the light starting from May. You know, I'm really, really... Yeah. Yes, and we have a full moon in Scorpio. We do. That's very deep because we are facing our fears and we're facing ourselves in this darkness. So it's a very beautiful time for us to really close this this darkness and, and come to the light. So thank you for this card. This I got chills like this is channel message. <laughs> it, it's, 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 abs it's absolutely perfect. And again, for that for the for those watching, you know. You know, this is a new cycle that's that's beginning now. Um, I mean, I mean, tell if you think about when we're coming up to May anyway. Um, you know, Beltane blessings. It's it's always a new it's always a new start. 
Um, so, yeah, so everyone watching, you know, this, this, is a, this is a new start. There is a new cycle and it's just enjoying it, um, finding that magic, um, that, that childlike quality um, and, abs, you know, and absolutely bringing, bringing it out, you, you know, because this card has got everything, you know, a Christmas tree, a, a East, you know, Easter eggs, the moon, the um, sun, you know, it's got every single, um, uh, um, oh, what's the word? What's the word I'm looking for? Season <laughs> um, in it because each season is a new cycle. But yeah, and, and light is beginning to come back everywhere. So, yeah, so for any new projects you're starting, like you with your calls, it's absolutely brilliant. So, um, yeah, I just love the way the, the cards come out. And it ties in quite nicely with your card um, as well. Um, you know, sort of like with, with, the, with, with the retreat, it's kind of like go within and then show your light as you come out. Very true. Very yeah. true. So, so it's perfect. So, Paulina, do you have any insights or thoughts to leave our viewers? I really want to thank you for this opportunity and whoever's watching now or later, I really um, want to say that don't be afraid to discover who you are and and just think about it COVID showed us what's really important we went through the dark night of the soul collectively and now we're going to pay more attention to people now we're going to be paying more attention to events life events concerts or those fun and engaging activities right yeah so, so just start paying attention to those small things i really love what you said about present moment when you go into the buddhist tradition there's only present moment there is no future there is no past so i love that you brought this up because that's the truth, like be here, be now, actively listening to people, being engaged in the conversation and do one thing at a time and retreat from everything that's not serving you. So you can step into this new energy that brings us, you know, May. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And perfect words. You, you've you've, you've um, put it succinctly, you know, you've put everything together. So thank you so much. Um, uh, for, for that. So everyone, I hope, hope you've enjoyed this and found it insightful and the words of wisdom that Paulina has given you will help you further on your journey. So Paulina, if people want to connect with you, how do they do that? Uh, so I have my website, it's called yogioofnyc.com. So I'm a yogi and I live in New York City, so it's easy to remember yogioofnyc.com. I also have my Instagram, which is yelaya, which is Y-E-L-A-Y-A, -A, yelaya. And they can search my first name, Paulina, and my last name, Paul Biela, uh, on Facebook. So those are the best way to connect with me. And we can start conversation if they're interested in working with me. Or maybe they want to discover day gifts or, you know, yeah. create a project together. Exactly. And what I'll do is I'll put the um, links, in, I'll, I'll put the uh, links in the comments so that people can just cl literally click on them and go straight to um the, the pages so so that'll be so that'll be absolutely fine so thank you so much paulina for being on the on the show today it's been absolutely wonderful listening to you um and everyone watching i hope uh, you know if you have reached that crossroads in your life and you need help finding your life purpose and getting clear on your path then i would love to be that guide for you so please feel free to reach out and connect with me and we can arrange a free 20 to 30 minute video call to find out more about each other and whether I think I can help you take charge of your destiny. And of course, the Angel Wings community membership is now open where you get a chance to grow with Ascended Masters, Archangels, Gods, Goddesses, Angel Oracle cards and the other members of the membership to actually spread your wings and soar. And of course, if you sign up to uh, my weekly newsletter on my website, get a few, couple of free gifts um and do check out the retreats i'm running in glastonbury this year um i saw your advertisement i was thinking oh my gosh i wish i was in england <laughs> <laughs> i would totally go for your retreat this was the first thing that caught my attention <laughs> yeah yeah i, I mean I, I love running the retreats there um down in glastonbury but you but you never know you might be over in this country at some point when i'm running retreats so um you you know you you, you can come Divine timing. If you're meant That's to be coming to Glastonbury with me, it'll work out. That is true. Yes, I'm open. I'm open. I'm open. I'm telling this openly to the universe. I'm open. 
exactly which will be absolutely brilliant so everyone thank you so much for watching and i would like to invite you to share this video as i'm sure there are more women who feel lost and want to get clear on their destiny just like you and of course if you're watching this on my youtube channel please do um hit the like button and subscribe to my channel um so and hit the bell to be notified of when the show goes live every week and um to you know find out about the guided meditations I put and the various other um, free offerings I actually put on YouTube for you and I look forward to you all joining me again this time same time same place next week and again thank you Paulina it's been absolutely brilliant thank you for sharing your gifts thank with you. me thank you for having me I really appreciate it thank you so much bye bye welcome bye